Hello everyone, welcome to Era Diet Prep. My name is Samir Sardana. So this is episode number 9 of CAT 2020 slot 2. This is the last episode and we will be done with all quant question of CAT 2020 slot 2 guys. And in this video I am going to cover all the algebra questions asked in the CAT itself. Look at this question, CAT 2020 question paper slot 2, a question of maxima and minima. Question number 24. X and Y are the positive real numbers such that X plus Y is equal to 1, 0, 2. Then the minimum possible value of 2, 6, 0, 1 into 1 plus 1 upon X into 1 plus 1 upon Y. So I want to find out the minimum possible of this expression. If I rewrite this expression, you see that 1 plus 1 upon X can be written as X plus 1 upon X. And this can be written as Y plus 1 upon Y. Now that means the whole expression is basically 2x01 into x plus 1 multiplied by y plus 1 divided by xy. If I want to, if I want to minimize the expression here, if I want to minimize this whole expression guys, I need to maximize the value of x and y. That's the only thing that you're supposed to do guys. You need to maximize the value of x into y. Now, x plus y is 1, 0, 2. If x plus y is equal to 1, 0, 2 and I want to maximize the product of x and y, the product of x and y will be maximum when both of x and y are as close as possible. Now when the value of x and y are as close as possible, that means x should be equal to y should be equal to 51. In that case, x into y will be, will be a maximum possible. So x into y will become maximum possible when the values of x and y both are equal. So if I put x as 51 here, the whole expression would be 2x, 2601, 51 plus 1, 52, multiplied by 52, divided by 51 into 51 is 2601, this get cancelled, 52 into 52 is 2704. That's the correct answer to the question. A very simple question guys, from the concept of maximum and minima in algebra. Let's have a look at the next question, question number 25. This is from uh, arithmetic progression and geometric progression sequence and series. Ameth and nth term of a geometric progression be 3 by 4 and 12. We know that a geometric progression is a series where every subsequent term is obtained by multiplying the previous term with a constant ratio. For example, the first term is 2. If I am saying that common ratio is 2, then the second term will be obtained by multiplying the previous term 1 with 2. Then multiplying by 2 with a common ratio, again I will get, I'll get 4. But the third term, if I multiply 4 with 2 again, that means a common ratio, I will get the fourth term 8 and so on. So now in this case, it is given to me that m is less than n, right? mth term of a geometric progression is 3 by 4. And nth term of a geometric progression is 12. And m comes before n and the common ratio of the progression is an integral values then the smallest possible value of r plus n minus n. A very very simple question. Again a question based on the uh, minima and maxima because we are supposed to find out the minimum possible value of r plus n minus 1 m so I need to minimize r as well as the value of n minus n. You see that the mth term to nth term is obtained by multiplying the by multiplying this term by a common ratio r because if it's a geometric progression series it must be having a common ratio r so this term this term nth term is obtained from mth term by multiplying the mth term by a common ratio r for n minus m number of times and you will get the nth term for example here you can see that this is a geometric progression this is my first term this is my second term this is my third term and this is my fourth term if i want to find out the fourth term then I need to multiply the common ratio 2 for 3 times uh, to get my fourth value, right? 1 into 2 power 3 is 8, which is equal to my fourth term. So can I say the nth term can be obtained from mth term in a geometric progression by multiplying this term by r for n minus m number of times? So can I say r raised to power n minus m will be equal to 12 into 4 by 3 which is equal to 16 that means r raised to power n minus m is equal to 16. Now tell me how is it possible for 16 to write down in index form? 
R raised to power n minus n is equal to 16 tells me that there are number of possible cases. One of the possible case can be 2 raised to power 4. The second case, second case can be minus 2 power 4. And the third case can be minus 4 raised to power 2. Now in all these three cases, if I want to find out the value of R plus n minus n. In this particular case, the value of R plus n minus n in the first case would be 2 plus 4, that is 6. Second case would be minus 2 plus 4, that is 2. In the third case, R is minus 4 and n minus n is 2, which is equal to minus 2. So you see that the minimum possible value, I'm supposed to find out the smallest possible value. So the smallest possible value will be minus 2 and that's the answer of the question. Minus 2 will be the correct answer of the question. One last question of algebra uh, from CAT 2020 paper. It is from logarithm. It says the value of log of a upon b to the base a plus value of log of b upon a to the base b for a being greater than 1 less than or equal to b cannot be equal to what? See that guys. Can I write down this expression as log of a upon b to the base a? I have this expression log of b upon a to the base b with the condition that a is greater than 1 and less than or equal to b. Now, this you can see that can be written as log of a to the base a minus log of b to the base a plus this can be written as log of b to the base b minus log of a to the base b, right? A basic rule of logarithm, basic law of logarithm that log of m upon n is log of m minus log m, right? Now, can I write down log of a to the base a is 1, log of b to the base b is also 1, so 1 plus 1 minus log of b to the base a minus log of a to the base b. So this is 2 minus. See that, if I'm saying that log of b to the base a is let's say x, then can I also say that log of a to the base b will be equal to 1 upon x? Because if I'm exchanging these two values, that means I'm inversing the base, reversing the base. So that means this log of a to the base b will be equal to 1 upon x because log of b to the base a is basically log of b upon log of a that's a basic rule of logarithm and log of a upon to the base b is equal to log of a upon log of b so you see that both of these two values are inverse of each other so if i'm saying that this is x then this will be one plus x so taking minus s common this will become x plus one upon x now you see that this expression x we know is definitely greater than 1 because a is greater than 1. Now if x is definitely greater than 1, you see that x plus 1 upon x will definitely be greater than or equal to 2. Because whatever values of x I put, whatever value of x greater than 0, if a is greater than 1 and less than or equal to b, can I say log of b upon a will definitely be a positive value, cannot be negative. Similarly log of a to the base b can also not be negative. Both of them, x as well as 1 upon x, right? x here, you can say is greater than 0. If x is greater than 0, x plus 1 upon x will definitely be greater than equal to 2. That's a standard rule in uh, algebra. You can check it. Whatever value of x I put here, if I put x as 0 0.5 here, you see that? You see that this become 2.5, right? So this value is definitely greater than equal to 2. Now, if I'm subtracting something from 2 which is greater than equal to 2, I will not be able to get a positive value because the minimum value I'll be subtracting would be 2. So 2 minus 2 would be 0. But anything more than 2 will give me a negative result. So the, this expression can never be positive. It can be either 0 or it can be negative. Because I'm supposed to answer which of these cannot be equal to. So this option is possible. This is possible. This is possible. This is not possible. Positive is not possible. So therefore, second option is the correct answer of this question. So now guys, we have completed this series. Now 2020 slot 1, slot 2, slot 3. All questions of quantitative aptitude with 1 minute 1 question approach have been covered uh, in uh, throughout this series in 20 different videos. So you can watch all the videos and, and have uh, uh, an idea what the CAT exam is all about. In addition to that guys, you can attend my live session every day at 4 p.m a 30 minute daily DIY practice to cover 300 practice set before CAT exam, 300 excellent CAT set guys. There's a bumper offer for CAT 2021 going on where you can get the subscription till CAT 2021 if you go for a 6 month subscription now. So uh, you can use a referral code LRDA SMEED LIVE.
The referral code that you can use to get an Academy Plus subscription is LRDI Samir Rai. This will give you a 10% off on an Academy Plus subscription. This is the largest, India's largest scholarship test is going to happen the next uh, on every Sunday, where you will be getting a scholarship from a pool of 55 lakh. These are the awards that you can get depending upon your rank. So guys, uh, every Sunday at 12 p.m. you can attend this test and you can use my referral code LRDI Samir Rai for the registration of the test. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next part.